Alright everybody, what is going on? Welcome back to another video. Today's video, we're going to get into the top 77 of the top 100 NFL greatest players of all time. It's Tony Dorsett. The quicker you're here, the faster you go. That's why where I come from, the only thing we know is... Tony Dorsett. Anthony Drew Dorsett. Dorsett. <laughs> Born April 7th, 1954 as a former American football running back. Oh, I like that. Five foot eleven. He went pick number two in the 1977 NFL Draft. Did he win the Heisman? Yes, of course he did. <laughs> As a senior in 1976, he helped lead his school to a national title, picking up the Heisman Trophy, the Maxwell Award, the Walter Camp Award for Player of the Year, and the United Press International UPI Player of the Year Award. Along the way, as he led the nation in rushing with 2,150 yards. Dorsett finished his college career with 6,082 total rushing yards, then an NCAA record. It would stand as the record until it was surpassed by Ricky Williams in 98. He is considered one of the greatest running backs in college football history. Well, I'd like to do a, a reaction to this guy. He's got one Super Bowl, I see. Super Bowl 12. He played for the Cowboys from 77 to 87 and then one year with the Broncos to finish off his career. In 2007, he was ranked number 7 on ESPN's top 25 players in college football history. In 94, he was inducted into the College Football Hall of Fame. He rushed for 12,739 yards and 77 touchdowns in his 12-year career. <laughs> on January 3rd, 1983, during a Monday night football game in Minnesota, Dorset broke a 99-yard touchdown run against the Vikings, which is the longest run from scrimmage in NFL history. You can't get too much, <laughs> you literally can't get more than that, can you? Unless you're right on your own line. In which case, it, it, it probably would be 99.9, .9 and they'd probably bring it down to 99. Dorset broke the previous record of 97 yards, set by Andy Urim in 1939 and Bob Gage in 1949. The Cowboys only had 10 men on the field at, t at the time, as fullback Ron Springs was unaware of the play being called. <laughs> He made the Pro Bowl four times, and in 2013, Dorset announced he had signs of a chronic traumatic encephalopathy, CTE, a brain disease found in many former football players, boxers, and hockey players. Specifically, Dorset referred to memory loss as the major symptom affecting him in retirement. That's not good, man. That's not good. Let's have a look. Running backs. I would love to play more years with Tony Dorsett. I played just three years with him, and uh, you know he's just a phenomenal football player. Give me that ball. Beats three. Beats four. Bang. Spin, circle. <laughs> I like that one. He had moves, so he made a lot of big plays, but he had exceptional speed. Straight up the middle. Is that the 99 yard touchdown? <laughs> 99 yards. Jeez. He wasn't just running outside and running run away from people. He was very tough inside. Whatever he said, he wasn't big enough. And what are they talking about? The guys oh, got good size. Good stuff. Yes. Tony could run inside with the speed he had at the outside. He could do everything. I always recognize that Rams outfit because it's the only one with like a spiral on the side of the, the helmet. And I think the Rams were the first ones to bring in the painted helmet. Is that right? But I've, I'm always noticing it in these, <laughs> these old clips. Bang! Love it. <laughs> yeah. To him and I get credit for a 95-yard touchdown. I mean, there's not too many guys that can do that. 
Before Tony Dorsett arrived, nice jump cut. See ya. Yet they lacked an explosive runner to complement Pro Bowl quarterback Roger Staubach. We kind of went three years after Calvin Hill and Dwayne Thomas with I, I have been the leading rusher. Then we got Tony in 77, and man, it was like a godsend. He's obviously just got a knack for the game. He's got a, that natural ability. It's that natural ability that I talk about, you know, with, with rugby players. It's, it's seeing, looking up, and being able to instantly make that decision which hole to go for. You know, play what's in front of you. Don't, you know, that's, that's what it's about. That's, that's what these, I, that's what I honestly believe these running backs that come into the game and they show something different and they, you know, they're a star straight away. It's because they, they're not going to stick to the program, you know. They might get the pass, they might get the handoff. The, the hole that they're looking at may not open up, but it doesn't worry them. They'll go around the outside, they'll go through the middle, they'll see something here and they'll go for it. They probably don't hesitate as much as some other guys, you know what I mean? That's what I feel. Dorsett would make the offense complete, but his impact wasn't immediate. It took time for the rookie's free-flowing style to mesh with Tom Landry's structured playbook. We were running practice, and I'm rolling this thing, and our defense, you know, playing the mock defense of the Cardinals. And so they went, and I seen it, it broke all the way back across, back behind the center. It will never in a hundred years ever break like that. Stay on side. I said, Coach Landry, I got to run to what I see. Did you just hear that, man? I think that's exactly what I just said. You drafted me to be a runner. Let me Run. Let me motherfucking run. That's what I just said, man. Ah, I feel liberated now. I feel like I said the right thing. I was worried there. I rolled slant 24, and it broke back just like he said it would never break. In a hundred years. He's to the 30, the 20, the 10, the 5, Tony Dorsett, touchdown! And the next day in the meeting, Coach Landry comes in and he says, okay, Tony's a different type of runner. What you guys are going to have to do as offensive line, you're just going to have to put your hats on your guy and he's going to run to what he sees. From that point on, I was able to become TD. That's awesome, man. I'm fucking, I'm so happy about that. Really happy to hear that. Dorsett went on to win Rookie of the Year and helped Dallas win its second Super Bowl. Became the first player to gain more than a thousand yards in each of his first five seasons. Wow. Before he retired, Dorsett trailed only Walter Payton on the all-time rushing list. He had nearly 13,000 rushing yards, but only 77 touchdowns. He was a great football player. The things he did were special. Only. He's not only in the top 100, he's, he's right there in the top running backs of all time. Hmm. Awesome. I enjoyed that. If you enjoyed it, you want to help me, you want to help the channel, you want to help this video get out there, hit the like button. If you want to subscribe, please do. And I'll see you back here for number 76, Art Shell. That's an interesting name. I'll see you soon. Peace.